Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your friend SG and in this video we will be seeing how we can install react native in our system. Okay, so react native is basically a JavaScript framework which is used to design and mobile applications. We can design both Android and iOS applications using that. So in this video we will see how we can install it. Okay, so let's start. This is the official website of react okay react native so let's get started on the left panel we can see this environment setup option here we'll be going to set up setting up the development environment okay so we have two different options to work with react native first is using expo and second is the basic react native cli so we'll be going with the second one react native cli okay firstly we'll have to select the environment with which we are working so i have windows and mainly I'll be targeting Android so this is it then we'll have to install node.js and java development kit these are the two things which we have to install first so let's go and install node.js we'll install this one recommended for most users okay okay so it's being downloaded till then we can start installing JDK so So this is the official website of Oracle from where we can download the JDK. This is it. Okay. We'll select our system and then we'll start downloading. Okay. So I have windows. So this is the JDK. I'll accept the terms and then it will begin installing. Okay. okay. So this is being installed till then we can set up the Node.js. Okay, so the installation of Node.js has completed and the JDK is also downloaded. Okay, so in order to check whether Node.js is installed or not, we can just type the command in our command prompt nodes hyphen hyphen version. Okay, so this will list out the version of Node.js. If it's not installed, then it will give an alert that node is not a recognized command. Okay, along with node, uh, while we were installing Node.js, npm was also installed what is npm npm is the package manager okay A node package manager we also run the same command for that npm hyphen hyphen version to check whether it is installed or not okay if you get the versions in both of these commands then uh, you can then we are sure that node.js is perfectly installed on your system okay so now let's go with jdk Okay, so JDK is successfully installed on my device. Okay, it says that JDK Java SA development kit this version has been successfully installed. Okay, so we have now we have JDK and Node.js both of them are installed next. Okay, okay, so this is just the installation part we have done that. Now we have to install Android Studio. Okay, okay, so this is the link for Android Studio. Let's go head over there and download it. Okay it will automatically recognize your system and show you the appropriate build for that okay so for my windows it's showing this so i'll just download it accept the terms and conditions and then we are good to download it okay so it's being downloaded here let's go it might take some time it's up to a gb so i'll be back when it's done okay so our version of android studio is downloaded let's just now install it we have to keep two three things in mind selecting these options while installing this has to be taken in mind okay okay next next this is the path next shortcut icon it's being installed
okay so it is installed let's next move on start the android studio it's checked finish android studio is being started we have to do a little bit of setting apart so config we'll get this sdk manager okay and here it says us to do some of the things these are where are they where are they okay Hmm. Okay, click on configure SDK manager. Okay. Select the SDK platforms. These are the SDK platforms being selected. Then okay, Android 10Q and then we have to get the show details. Show package details. Where are these are the details? From here we have to select android sdk platform number 29 and not this one android sdk oh this was by default so we can do that android sdk platform 29 and intel atom system image okay 64 one or normal oh anyone do okay so intel atom 64 okay then we have to apply these changes and it's saying that this much space will be occupied and all all so we'll do okay and it will begin the downloading this might take some time Okay. okay so the installation of android studio and all its component is done we'll just finish it and we'll do okay okay so from here we can start creating a new project but before that we have to add some of the environment variables as well okay so we have done till now here we have to add this android home environment variable control panel and then to user account okay so just navigate there user accounts and it will be saying change my environment variables okay so from here we have to go to add a new variable as name named as android home okay so what are these settings this is okay okay so change my environment variables add a new variable saying android home and its location will be ca users then your username so this is the first thing then secondly this is the default location of the sdk that is installed okay so this is that only now what we have to do in the plan okay in the same way okay so again we'll go here change my variable but this time we'll edit it oh, sorry not this one we'll create an okay Oh, sorry selecting the path then we'll edit it okay then we have to add this line okay uh, where it is I'll just show you this one okay this entire line so okay we'll create a new variable and add that same this this part of line here okay then okay and then okay so the entire part is done now if we have to check that whether in uh, react native is installed or not we can run this command okay so going to our terminal we will run npx react native in it and the project name mm. what this command will do it will start installing the react native okay this will create a basic template project of react native this is doing that okay yes so if this process starts then we can say that react native is working fine okay so this further documentation states that how we can start the development server and how we can start working on that. We'll be focusing on that part in next video. But for now, this is it. Share this video with your friend and install it so that you can continue the further process. I'll be bringing many more cool projects on React Native. So stay tuned to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Telegram.